Hi, my loves. Welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome here in this channel. We'll talk about elastic care, hair growth tips, protective styling, and anything hair related. So, if you know you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to join the family. So, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys more hair growth tips because it seems like you guys love hair growth tips videos a lot. The last video I posted on hair growth tips actually blew up. So, that's why I decided to make another video sharing with you guys. 12 hair growth tips that helps me to grow my hair to a hip length and without further ado we are just going to get started so the first thing i'm going to be talking about in today's video is never skip a sealant during your moisturizing routine so many of us are guilty about this especially when we are just starting out in our hair care journey and we don't really know so much about moisturizing and sealing so applying a leave-in conditioner or moisturizer on your hair without a sealant is not the most effective way to moisturize your hair so to get the best results when it comes to moisturizing your hair you have to use a sealant now there are two methods of moisturizing your hair the loc method and the lco method now l starts for liquid c starts for cream and o starts for oil so for the first method the loc you go in with a liquid which can be water or a light leave-in then you go in with an oil to see and you go in with a cream Cream, which can be something more heavy based like a butter but for the lco the liquid comes first then the cream so that's your water or your light leaving then the cream which may be your butter and then the last thing is the oil but personally i use the lo method so this is like the third type of moisturizing your hair where the l stands for water or leave in and the o stands for oil so i first go in with a moisturizer or leave in conditioner and then i seal with and oil so if you are using just leave-in conditioners or moisturizers for your moisturizing routines without sealing with an oil you are missing out guys a sealant should be a must in your moisturizing routine and honestly it doesn't have to be anything complicated any type of oil would do even your kitchen oil would do when i first started i was using olive oil and now i use the luscious crown hair oil which is my brand which is a combination of olive oil coconut oil almond oil tea tree oil and peppermint oil but when i first started i was using just olive oil which you can find in your kitchen so it doesn't have to be anything complicated you can use any type of oil to seal after moisturizing and i assure you that if you can do this you'll be shocked at how longer your hair will be able to retain moisture because the purpose of using an oil to seal in your moisturizers is to like kind of create a barrier between the products and the environment so it will be more difficult for the products to dry up unlike when there is not a, like a sealant or a barrier the products can easily evaporate out of your hair but if you use an oil or a sealant the products tend to stay in longer meaning your hair will stay more moisturized for longer periods of time so if you want to get the best results out of your moisturizing routines always use a sealant after your leave in conditioners now moving on the next thing i'm going to be talking about is always trim your hair with hair shears not paper scissors guys in fact i feel like it is better you don't trim your hair at all than to trim with paper scissors because paper scissors are actually harsh on the ends of your hair and they can actually lead to more split ends imagine trimming your hair because you want to get rid of split ends and then you end up with more split ends so it becomes a vicious cycle when you keep trimming with paper scissors because you will want to trim your ends because you have split ends then you go in with paper scissors the paper scissors ends up splitting more ends you go in again to trim with the paper scissors to get rid of those split ends and the cycle just continues so if you want to keep your ends healthy please trim with hair shears because hair shears do not cause split ends and they keep your hair healthy unlike paper scissors so if you don't have hair shears now invest in one because they are definitely worth it i have a link down in my description box below if you are interested in getting hair shears so you can check it out so guys never ever use paper scissors to trim your hair and always use hair shears now moving on the next thing i'm going to be talking about is study your hair i feel like 
some of us don't know our hair well enough and when i say study your hair i mean every single thing about your hair starting from your hair type your hair porosity your coil pattern your hair density your hair texture what your hair needs if it's protein sensitive or not if it has elasticity so basically every single detail about your hair because this is the only way you'll be able to know what is going to work for your hair you'll be able to know what products to get for your hair you'll be able to know the protective styles the routines that will work for your hair so studying your hair is a must and this is so so easy to do because there is nothing about your hair that you want to type on google that you want to type on youtube that you won't find so is it that you need help identifying your hair porosity your hair type your hair texture just go online says and you get all the information you need so if you are just starting out on your hair journey the first thing you need to do is to study your hair before you go out to purchase any product before you go out to install any protective style for length retention before you do any routine make sure you study your hair because after studying your hair the results you get will help you make decisions about the product you get so your products your routines your protective styles will not be tailored according to whatever you found out about your hair be it your hair porosity hair texture hair density hair elasticity even up to hair length yes guys the length of your hair can also impact your routines and this is a simple example okay so let's say you have hair length that is shorter than shoulder length or let's say you are just starting out and you have a teeny weeny afro you can easily get away with not installing protective styles and just leaving your hair down like that because your hair is not rubbing against any surface it's not rubbing against your shoulders compared to when you have longer hair for example a hair that can touch your shoulders hair that can touch your back leaving your hair down like this when it's this long puts it at risk of breakage because the constant friction between your hair and your shoulders between your hair and your body and your clothes can lead to breakage and in the long run a reduction in length so guys you can see that even the length of your hair can impact your hair care routines and regimen so before you even think of doing anything on your hair or even if you have started doing things on your hair like you started using products or you have a routine or regimen already still study your hair because you may be surprised to find out something that is going to help you modify your regimen or products for better results so moving on the next thing i'm going to be talking about is be careful with hair growth trends it's not every hair growth trend you see online that you jump on i also always say in my videos that as long as a routine or a product is working for you just stick with that some of us have the habit of hopping from product to product from routine to routine based on what is trending for example i know there was a time rice water was trending some of us hopped on that trend and when it faded over and the next thing came up we left rice water and we jumped to the next thing then there was a time i think rosemary water came up everybody was using rosemary water then she had powder came up everybody was using that guys stop hopping from trend to trend if you tried rice water and it worked for you just stick with that i don't know what you are looking for hopping from trend to trend and if you are hopping from trend to trend because the previous trends you have tried did not work for you it may be that you don't know your hair very well because if you do you'll be able to tell what your hair needs and you'll be able to tell if this trending product is actually what your hair needs right now and that is why i said that you have to study your hair because if you know that your hair is protein sensitive or if you know that what your hair needs right now is moisture and the product that is currently trending is a protein product you would know that okay this is not for me this is not compatible with my hair so it's not every trend you hop on i'm not saying don't try new products you can experiment with new products if your current products are not working but once you find something that works for you stick with that because in trying to hop from one trend to another you may actually end up trying something that would damage your hair and ruin your years of hard work one thing we have to know that we always have to be careful about 
product we use and about our hair care and all of that because it may have taken 10 years for you to get to your current length but with just one simple mistake everything can be gone within a twinkle of an eye so that's why it's not everything out there in the market that you should try study your hair know what works for you find and use products depending on what your hair needs and when you see one that eventually works just stick with that enough with the trends hopping okay so moving on the next thing i'm going to be talking about is never leave on a relaxer for more than the recommended time now this is for those of us that have relaxed hair i know it is very common for some of us to leave relaxers on our hair for more than the recommended time because we want to get our hair super straight or we feel that our hair is stubborn in quotes and then we leave on relaxers for more than the recommended time i always say before using any products on your hair make sure you read the instructions and that applies to relaxers as well so before you use any relaxer on your hair make sure you read the instructions on the kit even if you have been using it before it may be necessary for you to go back and remind yourself like how long you're supposed to leave the relaxer on your hair i have been using mega growth relaxer for years now but whenever i want to carry out my relaxer i still go back and look at the recommended time because sometimes i forget the duration you are going to leave it on is also going to be different depending on your hair type so even if three people are using the same relaxer the amount of time they need to leave it on their hair may be different because among those three people someone might have coarse hair another one might have fine hair and the other one may have medium textured hair and the duration for each of them is going to be different so that's why again you have to study your hair because if you know your hair and you know your hair texture this becomes easier for you because you'll be able to tell how long you are supposed to leave the relaxer on your hair so when you are leaving relaxers on your hair for more than the recommended time you are actually damaging your hair now some of us may be leaving relaxers on our hair for more than the recommended time because we feel our hair doesn't get straightened enough or we feel like our hair is stubborn in quotes but if that relaxer is not getting your hair to your desired texture even after leaving it on for the recommended time then you should switch to a different strength of relaxer i was using mega growth before regular strength and i realized that it was giving my hair a textured look rather than a relaxed look but i wanted a relaxed look and then i switched from the regular strength to the super strength and i didn't have to deal with this problem again so if the strength of the relaxer you are using is not giving you your desired results instead of leaving it on for more than the recommended time on the kit what you should do instead is switch to a higher strength of relaxer because when you start leaving it on for more than the recommended time like i said you start damaging your hair and that's when you start getting things like scalp bones and when you start getting scalp bones frequently you are damaging your scalp if there is one thing you shouldn't play with it's your scalp because even if your hair strands are damaged you can cut them off and they can grow back but if your scalp is damaged where is the hair going to grow from so we should be very very careful with our scalp okay so your scalp should be precious and that is one of the reasons you shouldn't leave on a relaxer for more than the recommended time so if you have been doing this stop it sis okay <laughs> so moving on the next thing i'm going to talk about is keep track of your progress this may not be directly related to hair growth but it indirectly helps in your hair growth journey because when you are keeping track of your progress first of all you'll be able to know what is working and what is not you'll be able to know if you are a play two if you are seeing a length retention or if your hair is getting shorter and based on this you'll be able to make adjustments to your current regimen and products so for example when you are keeping track of your progress and you can see from your record that your hair is getting shorter or it's at a play two you will know that there is an issue then you will know if you want to switch your products or if you want to modify your regimen and if you are seeing length retention this actually helps in two ways 
first you will know that yes your products are working your regimen is working and then you keep on using those same things and two it kind of motivates you because you'll be like okay from my record i can see progress so if i can just keep up with this there's possibility that i'll see more results so apart from the fact that keeping track of your progress can help you know what to change or make modifications to it can also serve as a form of motivation and if you have not been doing this before you have to start doing this now and honestly it doesn't have to be so serious like you don't have to get a journal or something like that you can just keep track of your progress on your phone or on a sheet of paper or you can just type it as a message to yourself on whatsapp like for january this is the hair length and for this length the products you were using were this this and this this was the regimen you were using you do the same thing for february march and just continue doing that and before you know it you have a full record of your hair growth journey for years so it doesn't have to be so serious you can do it on your phone or on a sheet of paper or a notebook so yeah guys so far i have shared says um tips in today's video i said i was going to share 12 tips with you guys so there's gonna to have to be a part two and that is because i know you guys don't like videos that are too long so that is why when some of my videos are getting too long i tend to divide them so the other six tips are going to be in the second part of this video so make sure you stay tuned for that so that when that video goes up you will get notified so among these six tips i have mentioned which of them have you been guilty of not doing please let me know in the comment section down below so yeah guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here and you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys that's it for today's video thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye